Hey, what's up YouTube? I just wanted to do a quick video on the Cunix QX2710 Evolution 2 monitor. Um, my experience with uh, dealing with the uh, buyer, not buyer but seller, and um, just a couple things, useful information you might want to know. When I bought this monitor, it had very bad backlight bleeding all throughout here and even some up here. Uh, what I did, I, s I found a video on YouTube that kind of explained how to take it apart. It's really not that complicated. Uh, there's like four screws at the bottom. You pop them out, or not pop them out, but screw them out. What I used <clears throat> was a butter knife. <laughs> if you're worried about scuffing up the plastic, put some uh, painter's tape over it. Just slip it in there, and it doesn't take much force at all. You just slip it in there and kind of um, make, you know, kind of a clockwise motion and pull on the bezel while you do that. It pops right off. Don't manhandle it. Sorry, I'm not going to show you how to take it apart, but just when you do it, don't manhandle it. That's all I'm saying. And uh, it, it will come apart very easy. And what I did is I crumpled up some paper there's a way to uh... I don't have any light man <clears throat> alright well I don't have any light so I broke my ceiling fan so I don't have any light my bad but anyway um and I'm using my phone to do this so um, basically what I did is I figured out what exactly causes the backlight bleed in these monitors and basically it's pressure out of the whole screen and the way it sits on the uh, well the way it sits in there and once you can kind of figure out how to kind of uh, alleviate the pressure I just used a paper crumpled up paper and I put it right under this part of the screen and yeah I had the I had it powered on when I did it I would plug it back in take a look at it unplug it plug it back in and once there was very very little screen or very little uh, light shining on it you know what I mean like backlight bleed well when I actually stood the monitor back up it was very very good it, it was you know I can I can live with that I can't live with the way that it came that's for sure I don't I know I've seen some of these people <laughs> you know they try to they try to say that's normal it's not normal for a, a monitor to have backlight bleeding I, I've never seen a, like when you look at your HD TV it doesn't have backlight bleeding it's, it's called defect and the other thing I did right here in the middle under the Cunix um, emblem I put a little bit of tape uh, and a little well it, I'm trying to explain this this is a crappy video man but you know what I just wanted to put something out there so people will know a little something about this I put a little bit of tape uh, you know bend it over on itself a little a couple times and put it right under the emblem so that there would be pressure pushing down this way on the monitor and that alleviated even more backlight bleed. So pretty much what you see now is it's not bad. If I can, I'll try to upload or put a picture of what it was what it was before. I'll try to do that in this video. I just want to do something really quick and so I can put it out there. Um, I bought this on Amazon for I want to say it was 290, 280 or 290. It might have been 300 and it shipped including shipping. There's no dead pixels. I wasn't happy about the backlight bleeding. I mean, you you risk damaging the monitor and I believe that will definitely void your warranty you know if you mess it up but I guess you could always uh, pay to have someone do it 
you know, if they mess it up, they're liable. I don't know how that works, but all I know is I got tired of playing Crisis and seeing that stupid freaking bleed. So, one day I drank a bunch of coffee and I took the damn thing apart. And uh, I'm happy I did. Very, very happy. Now I'll show you how to uh, do a quick overclock on this monitor. Um, the first thing you need, I mean, 120hz.net, 120hz.net, whatever, um, I found some programs on there. And uh, you're going to need the NVIDIA patcher. Well, this is for, I have an NVIDIA Titan, and yeah, it does work, even though one of the guys, one of the sellers I talked to said he didn't know if it worked with a Titan. That kind of worried me, because, you know, if they're from South Korea, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to email back and forth, and, and then it doesn't work. Some guy says it doesn't work. I don't know if it works or not. It works. Uh, so pretty much, um, you'll need the NVIDIA. If you have a single Titan like I do, or a single NVIDIA card like I do, you're going to need this. Okay? And when you open it up, all right, it will say like once you have it, make sure you have everything plugged in. It'll say found, 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 found. Would you like to patch? Blah blah blah. Hit yeah, okay. And then the next thing you're gonna need to do: enable test mode, restart the computer. You're gonna see that at the bottom right hand side, test mode. Okay. Some people will use the Nvidia control panel to overclock. As you can see it's at 96. I don't see any reason to go to 120 although this can go with 120. It looks beautiful honestly. People who say you can't see differences between 60 and 120 <laughs> they don't know. They don't know anything. Okay. I, I, I've i been playing you know Quake 3 since the I don't know the Dreamcast days because anyway I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, you know I moved a computer like a lot of people but um so all the Quake 3 players out there, they know the difference between 60 and 120 hertz. Anyway, um, so 96 hertz. You can do this from the NVIDIA control panel, there's only one problem. It's not going to show up in your games, at least from what I saw at, you know, right away. You're going to need to um, use this program over here called CRU or CRU or whatever that stands for. And... Um, so this is this is only for Windows. It's not going to show up in your games, okay? So after you've done all that, open this up, which will bring this up, okay? And I didn't read a whole lot on how to do this. I just skimmed over it. You can make profiles somehow in here and do all kinds of stuff. I don't know. All I did was this. I clicked on this go to edit bam right there it was at like 59 or 60 I changed it uh, first just tried 96 and pressed ok restart the computer oh uncheck this I, I did read enough about this to uncheck that I, I don't know if it makes a huge difference I don't know man this is just what worked for me okay so I did that I did the uh, frame test on Google showing that I have, you know, you know, 96 frames a second. 96 frames a second shows up in game like uh, you know, and uh it's man, it's what what more could you ask for? 1440p <laughs> at above 60 frames a second. I mean, I couldn't ask for more except for another couple, you know, a couple more titans so I can actually take advantage of it. That would be great. Uh oh yeah. Here's a word of caution or a word of warning. Okay. I okay. Make sure that your drivers are all are updated. But if you do decide to change drivers, undo what you've done. In other words, take the test mode back off, disable it, and set set it back down to stock. In other words, set it back down crap set it back down to you know whatever it was I think it's like 59 Hertz or whatever it was just make sure you remember what you do so you can change it back because what happened to me is I upgraded to the uh, beta driver on NVIDIA and I came back 
after I got a haircut and I saw lines everywhere and I thought oh crap I didn't even think about to undo the the test mode and uh, all that kind of stuff I thought man I'm, I'm I probably effed up something so I really did I thought I effed up something and uh, I, I so I undid everything I reinstalled the drivers like three times and then there were still like lo vertical lines the picture was back but there was vertical lines I was like oh crap I, I, I messed this up what I did I put everything back to stock okay and um, everything back to stock and then I actually used the um, I'm pretty sure that would have done it by itself but what I did is I actually changed the uh, you know pixels and everything and um, let that sit for a little bit and then sure enough after about an hour it was gone I've read that a lot of people you know when they had the 120 Hertz they know they have problems with burning you know images and things like that and they set it back down to 60 and it gets rid of it within a couple hours I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened but it still scared me after doing all this work to this monitor to get rid of the backlight bleed and to, to come back and think man I think I messed this monitor up over a stupid driver change so anyway if you're gonna change your drivers this probably work this probably means everyone that has a uh, ATI card or Radeon whatever you want to call it undo what you did first before you do it so So you, you can't even really see the where it used to be. I'm trying to see if I can. You can you can almost see it right down there, right here. But it's if you if you saw what it was like before, <laughs> I was like I don't know if I can live with this. I don't I wouldn't put it. I mean I just I don't know. I don't know about some people, but I just couldn't do it. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this uh, purchase. I've, I've always wondered why is it taking so long either have to choose one or the other. You choose a 1440p or you choose, you know, 1080p with 120 hertz. And I was just like, getting this monitor, honestly, is a dream come true to have both. Just to have anything above 60 hertz is just, man, it's just, I get it. someone out there is going to know what I'm talking about. Let's see. Sorry about the camera thing. I, I didn't really, um, I don't know, man. I just wanted to take this video, man. All right, so as you can see, the graphics. I, I've even modded this game, so Crisis is, you know, it's not even stock. So, you know, 2560 by 1440s, you know, anti aliasing's on, full screen and V Sync. I think I already did that, but it was kind of weird when you're looking through your screen. So, that's what I'm getting right now. Let me, like, lower this just so I can show you that's working in the game this is just one Titan right here there you go even 75 frames a second 
So I would be happy with that. I remember back in the day with the CRT monitors, you know, when you look at 60 frames a second for hours on end, like on Quake or whatever, I don't care what it is, and you go to 75 hertz, and then you go back down to 60 hertz, you can see how much 60 hertz strains your freaking eyes, man. Alright, my phone's like, what the heck. Alright, so anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, let's see. I say it's a win win, man. Seriously. I ordered the monitor, it was here the next day. Like, you can't go wrong with that, but make sure you, when you buy on Amazon, that you get, you buy from someone that offers the Amazon's protection plan because you don't want to get screwed or anything so I guess that's it if y'all have any questions or whatever feel free and uh, yeah there you go I don't know I don't really do many of these videos so yeah cool